Kumusta po kayong lahat? Welcome po sa Math Story. Ha? Ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa parallelogram. So these are the properties of parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent. So this side AB is congruent to side DC and side BC is congruent to side AD. Then opposite angles are congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle C. And angle B is congruent to angle D. Then consecutive angles are supplementary. So dahil supplementary, so this angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. And this angle B plus angle C also equal to 180 degrees. And this angle C plus angle D also equal to 180 degrees. And angle A plus angle D, that's also equal to 180 degrees. Then if one angle is right, then all angles are right. So this parallelogram is a square or a rectangle. Then the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other. So ito po ang dalawang diagonals ng ating parallelogram. And this line AE is congruent to line CE. This line BE is congruent to line DE. Its diagonal of a parallelogram separates it into two congruent triangles. So triangle BED is congruent to triangle BCD. And triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. So these are the properties of parallelogram. So we have this given, so draw a parallelogram named Rose, then solve its problem completely. So given angle R, that's 3x minus 15, and angle S, that's 2x plus 5. So what is angle R? So this is our parallelogram Rose. Then one of the properties of a parallelogram, that opposite angles are congruent, so this angle R is congruent to angle S. So we just need to equate the two equations. So for angle R, that's 3x minus 15, equals angle S, that's 2x plus 5. So to solve for x, transpose this 2x to the left. So this positive 2x becomes negative 2x, then equals 5. Then transpose this negative 15 to the right. So this negative 15 becomes positive 15. Then 3x minus 2x, that's x. Then equals 5 plus 15, that's 20. So x is equal to 20. So to solve now for angle R, since angle R is equal to 3x minus 15, so angle R is equal to 3x minus 15, but x is equal to 20. So this x changed to 20. So we have 3 times 20 minus 15. And this 3 times 20, that's 60, then minus 15. So 60 minus 15, angle R is equal to 45 degrees. Then for this problem, so if line RO is equal to 3Y plus 3 and line ES is equal to Y plus 13, then how long is line ES? So the same parallelogram, since one of the properties of parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent, so this line RO is congruent to line ES. So we just need to equate the two equations since line RO is 3y plus 3 equals line ES, that's y plus 13. So we need to solve first for y. So to solve for y, transpose this y to the left, that becomes negative y equals 13. Then this positive 3 transpose to the right becomes negative 3. Then 3y minus y, that's 2y, equals 13 minus 3, that's 10. Then to solve for y, 
divide both sides by 2. So y is equal to 5. Then to solve now for line ES, since line ES is equal to y plus 13, and y is equal to 5, so this y replaced by 5, so we have 5 plus 13. So line ES now is equal to 5 plus 13, that's 18. Then for this problem, so rows is a rectangle and its perimeter is 56 cm. One side is 5 cm less than twice the other side. So what are its dimension? So rows is a rectangle since one side is 5 cm uh, less than twice the other side. If this side is x, so therefore this side is also x because opposite sides are congruent since twice the other side so this one is 2x but less than 5 centimeter so minus 5 so also this side is equal to 2x minus 5 then the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle, so 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, since perimeter is 56, so 56 is equal to 2 times the length. So let's assume that our length is the longest side, that's 2x minus 5, then plus 2 times the width, that's x, then simplify. So this 2 times 2x, that's 4x, and 2 times negative 5, that's negative 10, then plus 2x, then 56, transpose this negative 10 to the left, that becomes positive 10, then equals this 4x plus 2x, that's 6x, then 56 plus 10, that's 66 equals 6x. So to solve for x, divide both sides by 6. So x now is equal to 11. Then to solve for the other side, solve for the length. Since the length is equal to 2x minus 5, but x is equal to 11, so replace x by 11. So 2 times 11 minus 5. And this 2 times 11 is 22, then minus 5. So the length now, 22 minus 5, that's 17 centimeter. So the dimension now of this rectangle rows is 17 centimeter by 11 centimeter. Then for this problem, so in the given parallelogram, so we have two diagonals. So this diagonal AC is 2x plus 18 and the diagonal BT is x plus 40. Since our parallelogram is a rectangle, so these two diagonals are congruent. So line AC is equal to line BT, then since line AC is 2x plus 18, then equals line BD, that's x plus 40. So to solve for x, so 2x, then transpose this x to the left, that's negative x equals 40, then transpose to the right, that's negative 18, then 2x minus x, this one is x, equals 40 minus 18, that's 22, so x is equal to 22. So to solve now for line AC, since line AC is equal to 2x plus 18, but x is equal to 22, so we have 2 times 22 plus 18. Then 2 times 22, that's 44 plus 18, so line AC is 62. And for line BD, so line BD is x plus 40. Since x is 22, so this 
x, that's 22 plus 40. So line BD is also equal to 62. Then for this problem, so angle Y, that's 5X minus 4, and angle Z, that's 7X plus 40. Now, since one of the properties of parallelogram, the two consecutive angles are supplementary, so angle Y plus angle Z is equal to 180 degrees. Then angle Y, that's 5X minus 4, plus angle Z, that's 7X plus 40, equals 180. Then combine like terms, so 5X plus 7X, this one is 12X. Then negative 4 plus 40, that's positive 36, then equals 180. To solve for X, so we have 12X equals 180. Transpose this 36 to the right, that becomes negative 36. So we have 12x and this 180 minus 36, that's 144. Then divide both sides by 12. So x is equal to 12. So to solve now for angle y, since angle y is equal to 5x minus 4, and x is 12, so replace this x by 12, so we have 5 times 12 minus 4. Then 5 times 12, this one is 60 minus 4, so angle y is equal to 56 degrees. Then to solve for angle z, since angle z, that's 7x plus 40, and x is equal to 12, so we have 7 times 12 plus 40, then this 7 times 12, that's 84 plus 40. So angle Z, we have 84 plus 40, that's 124 degrees. So if we're going to add these two angles, so 56 plus 124, the answer is 180 degrees.